vigilance and devotion applied to the ideal of seeing that only the best passes inspection. In the factories, locally built, giving local employment in every great area of the nation. Each factory with its system of communications and intercommunications is in itself a part and portion of other factories which begin where it ends or end where it starts to fabricate or fashion or finish the fine products of the thousands of suppliers and the thousands of suppliers who supply those suppliers with all the parts of all the components that help to make up the complete automobile. Today's product of the superbly equipped plants is the life story of 10,000 engineers with hundreds of supporting departments and thousands of supporting suppliers completed by the master hands of a million factory men who inscribe all their ideas in metal. The careful and meticulous attention to every detail of quality and perfection has resulted in constantly improved performance, efficiency, and stamina through the years. That is the story told in the rhythm of the wondrously precise machines as they dance to the mastery of the worker's hands. of more than 17,000 parts must fit smoothly, accurately, rightly with some other part. And the men on the assembly lines know that each part will be there when it is needed because someone plans it that way and manages it that way. The men on the assembly lines know that each material will be fitting and each part will fit because someone builds it that way and someone checks it to see that it is that way. And so it is that in the finished motor car, 17,000 separate and individual parts are so well designed and so well combined, all to give us just the qualities we demand in our finest of transportation. The beauty and the comfort and the fine, long life performance with fine economy. From all the designs and all the plans, all the materials from all the processes and all the parts made by all the skills of all the men and all the magic of all the machines, move through all the pageant of production in a great orchestration of interdependence, one upon another and another, into a fine climactic assembly of the finest products of all of us, for all of us, for all the farms and all the cities and towns of all our land. And the men who inspect the final product know that each part must be a perfection certified, quality first to last. 
the harvest of America's finest automobiles, keeps rolling off the assembly lines year after year, every year finer and finer. The face of America has been changed. A factory is built out in the open country, and quickly a great city arises around it. Over broad highways made by and made for the automobile, what Americans have produced comes back to serve Americans. So it is that we can live in the country, work in the city. Life in America has changed. So it is that we can make our living on a farm and have a home in town. So it is that we can live where we want to. And the shopping centers now come out to meet us. The ever-expanding involvement of people takes on a new dimension. The great new dimension of interrelated use. The new individual transportation means new freedom of movement to all of us. The dispelling of distance. And for country dwellers as for city dwellers, a new and far and wide range of life. New businesses, large and small, have developed from putting America on wheels. It has created more jobs for more people, all interdependent on each other. And all continue to profit from it in ever new ways in each new generation of youth. Putting America's children on wheels has changed our schools. It has made possible better education, as built for better training for tomorrow. And all will profit from it in health and wealth and recreation. Putting America's workers on wheels now means that there is more work within ready reach, more work for men to do, and more ways to get to the work and make more money. On the money somebody else makes, all of us are dependent for the harvest of money we make. In all America, the money we make on any job changes hands many times. And every time it changes hands, it benefits all of us. The miner and the farmer and the rancher, all producing the finest materials. The worker and the machine, all using the finest, the newest processes to do finely by those finest materials, building the finest and the largest low-cost cars and trucks for everyone to haul anything, anywhere, and haul anyone, including ourselves. And so it is that all of us in interdependence live independently on wheels. And all this far-reaching interdependence is the great secret of why it is possible to put America's automobile within the reach of so many people. And all America, all its rock-bound beauty, all its pleasant vistas, all its historic shrines, and all its ways of living, all its sports and recreations, all its scenic grandeur, along all its far-flung highways, within the reach of all.